I've been getting a lot of requests lately to make stores owned by my very own Animal Crossing villagers. Whether it's Apple making an Apple store or Marshall selling cool hats, I really like this idea. So I went through a list of all my villagers and decided Zucker, the president of my island and arguably the fan favorite, should be the first to get his own store. What will that store be? Well, it was obvious. It has to be something food related, right? All he ever talks about is chocolate covered this and fried this. His character design is even based off the Japanese food takoyaki. So I decided to make Zucker his very own themed restaurant. In this video, I'll be creating the restaurant itself, building it from scratch, inviting Zucker to come see it and have all the villagers visit the restaurant themselves. Without further ado, let's go. And remember, if you want to copy everything I do, feel free to watch my step-by-step -step tutorial and copy as you watch. I give you full permission to copy my Zucker restaurant. Okay, let's get straight into building this. The first thing you'll notice is that I changed my time to go a little bit later in the year. Okay, so I live in the Midwest of the United States of America, and it's constantly snowing and freezing here, and it's starting to make me very miserable. So I did not want to live in that in Animal Crossing too. I spend way too much of my day in Animal Crossing, so I wanted that to be warmer and brighter and grassier and greener, so I decided to make it a little bit more like March rather than January. Also, Zucker is currently building things in his house. Maybe he's making like, I don't know, the custom menu or big billboards to promote it. No, he's just making like octopus socks, like eight pairs, of course. Oh, that would be epic. Oh my gosh, could you imagine if you were an octopus and you had to wear eight socks? That would be so cool. You could customize and change it up and stuff. Anyways, you can see Blue Bear is officially gone, so we'll be finding someone new on tonight's stream in the next few days. I'm hunting for Judy, because I really want Judy on my island. Anyways, so this is where the Walmart is that I used to make. I want to make it much more prettier. My goal for every building I make is to make it better than the one before. And I want this one to be very natural, very woodsy, but also still be a restaurant setting. So where I'm making Zucker's debut restaurant is actually in the woods behind his house in between his and Eric's homes. So I'm very excited to, of course, clean up everything and make it look really nice and really lived in. Like I want to make this a realistic place where I can actually see my villagers live in. Of course, no dinosaurs. I saw Eric staring at it. I had to move it real quick so it doesn't like get scared and run into it or something. I don't know, like charge at it with his, with his, with his what are they called? Antlers? Anyways, I am going to make this path a little bit different. I'm moving it back a little bit to give the restaurant a little bit more space so the pathway isn't intercepting the restaurant. I'm now talking to Diana who is currently talking about how she's so excited to see who's going to live next door to her because that plot of land is obviously open. Little did she know like, I don't know, maybe her worst enemy is going to move in and she's going to regret saying that. <laughs> I don't know. Who would be Diana's worst enemy? Comment down below. Okay, so I'm cleaning things up. I'm moving trees. I'm making it a very open space. And I'm connecting this dirt path to Zucker's house because I never connected his, to his house before. And, of course, he needs to be a part of the community. And a trail needs to connect right to his house. I started eating peaches, and as you can see, they went by very fast. Uh-oh, down to one peach now. But I needed them to, of course, take down these trees. You know, I grabbed my shovel. I just went ham. I just went pepperoni. I even went bacon. I just started scooping up these trees like they're ice cream flavors that I love, like uh, potato. No, I'm kidding. I don't eat potato ice cream, but I'd definitely give it a try. Then there's this conversation between Eric and Diana, and they have this conversation every single day ever since Diana moved in. Take a listen. <laughs> Eric is starting to creep me out with all of this, like, sniff me stuff. I'm like, okay, dude, how many times does someone have to sniff you on the daily in order for you to get your fix? I'm like, okay, maybe we should keep Eric in his house for a little bit, do some quarantining. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Eric's the best villager. Anyways, cedar trees. You love them. I love them. They look great. So what do you think I'm doing? Well, Diana is sleeping for one, so I'm definitely not sleeping because I am working tonight on this beautiful, amazing wilderness inspired restaurant. Okay, so this is where my vision is for this uh, 
very cool restaurant. It's gonna be in the middle of the forest. It's gonna be kind of like you're you're eating in the middle of Eric and Zucker's backyard. It's gonna have a really good family feel to it. It's gonna feel really woodsy and warm, and it's gonna be really, really nice to just sit in the middle of trees and eat. It's like a picnic area, but also a restaurant at the same time. It's like when you eat at the county fair, but it's gonna be really, really well done. So I'm building these hedges because they're very essential uh, for this continuing to look natural while also not being natural. And then all of a sudden, I see Diana. <laughs> I have no idea how she got there. She's like at the very corner. She's like in the middle of like, she's like an architect. Like she's like looking for bones and stuff. Okay, like she's looking for fossils. Me and Pom Pom are crying. We're like, get down, Diana. Get down right now. What are you doing over there? This is dangerous. If a rock falls, I mean, you're done, so girlfriend. I mean, just look at her feet. Those things are dangling. Like she, one wrong turn and she is going like face forward into that soccer ball, okay? So I took a seat, maybe to encourage her to stop sitting. You know, maybe she'll see me sitting on the side of a cliff and be like, okay, that's not a good idea, maybe I should stop. But no, the second I leave the screen, she goes right back into it more than ever before, putting her head right into the rock. I'm like, okay, Diana, I can't help you anymore, I'm sorry. Okay, so now I'm going back to making this amazing restaurant that is going to be the best restaurant of all time. My teacher gave me that advice before, you know, if you don't believe in yourself, how is anyone else gonna believe in you, okay? So anyways, that's why I'm believing this will be the best Zucker restaurant that's ever existed. And maybe the only Zucker restaurant that's ever existed. Until you guys make your own and make it better than mine, which, you know, I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept it. But anyways, the hedges are being made right now. And again, I think they are a very good way of making whatever you build still look natural and uh, grassy and like the environment while also adding structure and making it look nice and cut well uh, rather than having no borders or no fences. Uh, on your restaurant and it's just not really working out because you don't really know where it starts or ends. So now everyone will know where my restaurant starts and ends and it looks really good because they blend really well with the trees. Like they fade into each other really, really well. And it really looks like it's just in the middle of nowhere. You know, it looks like it's a forest, which I really, really like. And little do you know, you just walk into that forest at the little entryway and uh, you're inside a restaurant. It's very, very subtle and it fits into the map really well because it kind of just looks like regular woods that would be in between two people's homes, but it's actually a restaurant. But I'm definitely not done here, of course. It's going to get so much more glittery and great of course like I always do I always have to add pizzazz to it it's not gonna be glittery it's gonna be zuckery it's gonna be really really cool I hope you're excited for the designs coming up here in a few minutes uh, because they look really really cool I decided to have the three really big bushy trees in the middle I felt like that had added a lot more atmosphere and uh, it's very good to have a variety of trees if you have all the same trees over and over again it's not gonna look as cool so three really big bushy trees in the middle of the restaurant uh, really, really cool. I think it looks nice. I'm now adding, of course, my favorite pattern, the dark wood pattern, which looks so nice. No matter what you're making, it always looks great, and it looks really good with those uh, cedar trees. It has, like, the same color of that wood, which uh, it all blends together so well. And I'm adding it in between these trees, of course, too. And, oh, it's just looking so good. I can't wait to add all the different tables and chairs, and it's going to be so cool. I'm going to make new chairs and tables specifically for uh, Zucker's little uh, restaurant here. So I'm re-adding the hedges. I put the pattern underneath the hedges so that way it would blend together a lot better and I think it definitely did the trick. Uh, the hedging and the the, the patterns, all the colors mesh really well. The color palette's great. It's like a very consistent color palette. You got that nice orangey brown of the flooring as well as the cedar trees mixed with that nice green from the hedges and the leaves of the trees. And then also that sandy dirt color that's on the trunk of the big trees and also the dirt pattern that leads into the restaurant. Oh, it's just so good on the eyes. I decided to expand it a little bit more and you'll see what I'll do with that space in just a few seconds. But Tammy is here and Tammy's really sad that I haven't talked to her in a while because of course I went to a more warm time of year and now she's happy. We're all dancing and singing in front of the house in front of this new restaurant. 
Oh, I can't wait to show this restaurant to all my villagers once it's done, but we still got a lot more work to do, and I'm back into it with the patterns. Now, I love looking up the custom designs, and of course, I always try my best to show you every pattern that I've used on my designs. Using the Able Sisters search tool, I looked up Zucker, and I found so many amazing patterns that the community made. And uh, if you go really slow and pause, you can actually see the code of each each and every one of these different patterns so you can go back and actually use these patterns for your own Zucker restaurant if you wanted to replicate it or make it even better than the one I have. So there you go. Those are all the patterns that I'll be using. And isn't this just so nice? Oh, I think it works so well. Like the orange looks so nice with Zucker in front of it with... I don't know, whatever that glittery stuff is on top of it, too. Oh, it looks so cool. The color palette, everything just works out. Pom Pom came in. She's our first visitor, even though we're nowhere near done. We still got to add a bunch more patterns. And, of course, I'm chopping down all the wood I can possibly find on the island. If you know someone who is made out of wood, you know, watch out, because I got my axe, and I need wood right now to make these really cool chairs. No, I'm kidding. Then, all of a sudden, tragedy struck. Oh my gosh, I was like, Apple, please, please do the best you can to save me. I know Apple has like superhuman strength and powers. I thought maybe she could whip out her Iron Man suit and just blast the bees that were trying to kill me. But you know what? We got to save the bees too. I would rather get hurt than hurt the bees. You know what I mean? So maybe she made the right call. She's now happy running around. <laughs> My favorite thing ever, just in case you, you you need to know, I love when Apple just like runs around in circles out of nowhere with a smile. Like it's so pure and so sweet and it makes me so happy. It's like the best things in Animal Crossing are the small little like happy details and it's just awesome. Anyways, I'm continuing this like woodsy, nature, gardeny type feel with this restaurant with uh, the seats being made out of like logs. I tried to do it so where I could chop off trees and use the stump of the trees, but I didn't get that to work, so I had to do this instead. But this looked really nice, too. It's very woodsy, it's very natural, a little bit m minimalistic. Then over here we got, like, this nice wooden... A big, big, big table where a family of four could eat together. Or maybe even a family of eight if you really squeeze. But, but of course, I don't think there's many family of eights in my Animal Crossing island. See, um, I don't know. Maybe Apple and Pom Pom are sisters. But I think they were just joking when they said that. But could you imagine? Oh my gosh, it'd be so funny. I don't think any of them have said anything about being siblings, though. But you gotta remember, Chrissy and Francine are sisters. Gotta think of that. Because it would be so interesting if there was, like, family dynamics in Animal Crossing. You know, you just get, like, family drama out of nowhere. Anyways, I'm adding a bunch of items now. This is the, definitely the big decoration phase. Always my favorite part, putting down those custom patterns to really personalize the restaurant to give a big distinction of everything else. I put down this wooden block stereo. I felt like that really, uh, you know, worked with Zucker's vibe. And every good restaurant has some nice music playing in the background. So I'm happy that Zucker is control of the ox. I have no idea what kind of music Zucker listens to. If I had to take a guess, I feel like he listens to like EDM or something like that, which could definitely be a lot of fun. And here's what I was doing with this section. Now I know Zucker loves everything sweet and candy. So I added a little candy station here where people can just go up kind of like a free for all and just pick up some candy and eat it up or whatever. Uh, Zucker is still working hard on something. Again, I have no idea if this is something relevant to the business or what, but <laughs> I think he's just hanging out in his house, just making random stuff for himself. I don't really think he puts too much attention to the restaurant we just made, but I would be very happy to to definitely let him have some creative decisions with the restaurant if he wants to add in any uh, opinions. Anyways, it's 4.48 a.m. He's finally asleep, so I guess I'll have to wait till the next day to see if he's awake, and he is awake now, and finally he's not working on anything. He's just walking around, so I gotta hunt down Zucker. Where's Zucker at? Here's Eric, and oh, I, he's up there. He's up there. Okay, good. So we have Zucker. Of course, Zucker is here, and he's asking me if I saw the results from Happy Home, Home Academy, and his they just told them that he had so many bugs on in his house. I'm like, what kind of bugs? I hope not like lice or like parasites or anything. Like, 
some ants are fine, but <laughs> hopefully I don't have like any like really horrible insects just infesting it. And then all of a sudden he finds a way to leave the restaurant. I thought I barricaded it with the fences, but I guess I didn't do a good enough job at that. So I put him back in and uh, I just want to see what he'd do. Like what was his initial reaction to this beautiful restaurant we crafted for him and he's like looking around he seems to be enjoying it he's carrying around his like little purse and uh he seems to enjoy it and then all of a sudden uh he leaves again i didn't realize there was more empty spaces it looks like zucker's doing everything in his power to have nothing to do with his own restaurant <laughs> maybe he's shy he even sat down so he couldn't have to he wouldn't have to like walk up and, and re-enter the building Oh, Zucker is such a funny personality. But anyways, he's back now. He's sitting on the plank. He's starting to really enjoy it. I started inviting every other villager here and see what they thought of this amazing restaurant. I think it looks so nice. I love the natural vibes. I love that when you just walk around, you don't even notice it in the background. It's just kind of there and it's it kind of blends in with nature. It's really cool. Anyways, Apple and Eric are asking me the same question. I literally see like three times a day. It's like, would you rather like a fish or bite a worm? I'm like, oh my god, how many times do I have to answer this? Anyways, Zucker and Apple are now officially in here, as well as Eric, and they all seem to be enjoying it. Apple's really digging the uh, the candy machine, and I thought this is a good time to read everyone uh, the menu. So this is the menu of Zucker's restaurant that I've uh, mustered up here. Okay, so here's the menu, everyone. Fried peanut butter Oreos. Mmm fish burgers okay sausages and waffles you've heard of sausage and muffins you've heard of chicken and waffles but how about sausage on top of waffles making that into a sandwich yum 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 gum salad you know you've heard of salads fruit salads but gum salads are really going to be changing up the game in the culinary world Finally, we have peach cobbler casserole and Kit Kat french fries. You know, Zucker always talks about his favorite foods, and I thought all of these kind of fit what he was describing to me. He likes sweet things and, you know, stuff like that. So all of this just seems really tasty, to be honest with you. He loves fish, so there you go with the fish burgers. My personal favorite would be the Kit Kat fries. Now, I thought it'd be fun to guess what all of these villagers would eat and order from Zucker's restaurant. So let's see here. I think Apple would definitely order the gum salad. Diana, she just order some water, please. Like anything other than the menu she would take. Okay, Eric, I think Eric would definitely eat some fish burgers. And Zucker himself, I think he'll definitely just take all of it to go at home and watch it like TV while he eats all of it. That's He's like me in that regard. I love to take it home and eat it while watching TV. So... There you go, everyone. That's in case anyone was wondering what all of my villagers would order at this fake restaurant I just created. That's what's going down. Anyways, I had such a fun time making this video. I really recommend commenting down below and sharing your thoughts of what you'd like me to make next. You guys know all my villagers. We have, I'll, I'll run down the list. Apple, Pom Pom, Goldie, Eric, Matilda, Marshall, Tammy, and Diana. What villager should get their store next and what store will that be? You decide. Comment down below. I'm taking your recommendations and I'm really, really excited to do this again. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would be very happy because I personally, I had a really good time making this. I thought it was so much fun and it was different than like the average like, oh, Walmart, GameStop, things that exist. Like I had to make something new. So I thought that was fun. If you want to keep watching videos just like this, I have a playlist of all the different places that I've built in Animal Crossing and recreated. I've made Taco Bell, Walmart, okay? Lots of fun things there. Go check out that playlist. I'll see you later. Goodbye.